Like baby vomit? Yeah. Welcome back to another episode of Whiskey and Wine 101. And on today's episode, I'm trying a two camera setup. So I've been revisiting some whiskeys that I've drank earlier in my whiskey journey. And on tonight's episode, I'm revisiting Swift. This is one I actually do not like. It's one of, it is the least favorite whiskey I have. So I wanted to see if any of my taste has changed. Now, Swift is a Texas-based distillery. It's owned by a couple, from what I understand. This one is um, a malt whiskey aged in used bourbon barrels, and then they um, finish it in used French Sauternes wine casts. Okay, so Sauterne wine or Sauternus wine, Sauternes wine is a desserty wine. So anyway, let's try it out. Oops. All right. So for being non-chill filtered, I don't know if you can see that. It actually is cloudy. Okay, those are those um, uh, lipid molecules. Those are those fat soluble lipids or lipids that are floating around in there. Those normally get filtered out um, to make your whiskey clear, non-chill filtered. So, um, and what was the proof again? 44 or 80, 88 um, proof. So my understanding is if it's above 86, sometimes you won't get the cloudiness, but uh, sometimes you will. Yeah, see, it's got, it's got that. It, it, it does definitely have some sweetness to it. I get a lot of floral. I, I get a, you know, if you've ever drank Sautern wine, it's thick, it's uh, citrusy, flowery. I get a lot of like honey vibes from it. And I think I'm getting that, but there's also the funk from it. And I don't know if that's cause this is, is what it is. Anyway, cheers. <sighs> yeah, see, so this drinks more like a scotch than a bourbon. It's not a bourbon, it's a whiskey. Single uh, single malt. The finish is weird for me, but, hmm. Nice heat. Before, I used to describe this as like baby vomit. Yeah. So, um, yeah, for those who've had babies vomit, it's not that good. And it's more of that finish for me. It gives me that weird, yeah, it gives me that weird vibe. So the, the initial flavor is not too bad. Okay, so single malt definitely to me drinks more like a scotch. Yeah, I know. I uh. yeah, I still I don't favor it. I'll put it that way. Um, what do they say? Vanilla spice, lemon curd, hints of honeysuckle, caramel. I get the caramel. Lemon curd, I'm assuming, is the citrus vibe that I get from it. Um, I do taste the vanilla, but I don't like the finish on it. It has a little bit of smokiness to it, but again, more along the lines of like a scotch smoke, light peat. I don't think this is peated. Twice distilled from 100% Scottish malted barley. 
Aged in Kentucky, yeah. oh, aged in Kentucky bourbon barrels. Huh. Okay. So yeah, if you're a Scotch person, you might like this because I'm assuming that's what this was designed to be—an American style Scotch or a yeah, an American Scotch or American styled Scotch. So. Swift, single malt, it's not too terrible. It's not as bad as I remember it to be. I wouldn't drink this on a regular basis. As you can see, it's just below the shoulder. Um, I let some of my friends or family who like scotch to try it. And again, most people that I've given it to are more used to the sweetness, the, the caramels, the this, the, you know, the vanillas, and this supposedly has some of that, and I'm assuming it gets that from you, the aging in the bourbon barrels, but this, um, mm. no, this, uh, yeah, this is for someone who is probably more into scotch than I am, yeah, so I've got a little left in the glass. I'm not going to re-pour because, again, revisiting it, I still don't favor it. As always, thanks for watching. Keep it one-on-one. -on -one.